Hello and welcome to Borrow, Buy or Bin Mama Edition and this week we'll be looking at the Medella Swing Breast Pump. This was kindly given to me by a good friend of mine, Yulia Papp, before I actually had my baby. I was about nine months pregnant and hadn't really done any research at all on babies or how to keep them alive. Um, and when Yulia gave me this and a bag full of stuff, it was just another thing to overwhelm me, basically. Um, as anyone with children will know, uh, as well as looking after the actual human living thing that is your baby, you also have to get used to a load of new gadgets and that was part of the trouble, wasn't it? Um, and, and so yes, uh, the pump was one of those things that I had to try and master. Now I, I left off pumping until Oren, my baby, was probably about, I think he was about five or six weeks old. Um, and that was on the advice of the midwives and the health visitors. They, they kept saying that you have to make sure that your breastfeeding is established. Anyway, it's up to you when you start breastfeeding. You should take advice from your health professionals, and I'm sure it's different for everyone. But I finally plucked up the courage to get going with this when, as I said, when he was about five weeks old or so. Um, and I've got to say, it's actually a lot more simple than I thought. It is a bit daunting at first, um, not least because of all the sterilisation that goes with bottles and with the equipment. But honestly, it's it's much, much easier than you think and you will get used to doing all of this stuff. Um, Oren's now five months old and I, I pump pretty much every morning um, because I like to go to the gym. So my partner looks after the baby for an hour or so when I go to the gym every night. Um, and now and again, I, if I'm doing a filming job, uh, then again, I like to have all that milk stored up in the freezer or in the fridge. And the only way to do that is by pumping. Um, and would I recommend this? Uh, yes, there's nothing wrong with it. I've actually got nothing to compare it with, really, other than the hospital pump that I used for a couple of days when my baby was in ICU. Um, but obviously that was right at the beginning, so... A, I can't really remember, and B, it was a hospital grade pump anyway, so it's probably better. Um, this is decent enough. So this is the main unit, okay? So that uh, is quite nice. It comes with a little clip at the back, not that I've ever used it. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm filming. Can you be quiet over there? Please. Yes, I know, the red, the red light's on, that means we're filming. Um, sorry about that. Expect more interruptions throughout. So yeah, the clip, back to the clip. I've never actually used it, but this does look like it'd be quite useful if you want to pump on the go. For that, you would need a breast feeding, a breast pumping bra, which I don't have. But if you do have one of those, this is a great useful little thing. Also you've got this, which I guess you can put around your neck and, and walk along somewhere. Um, next up on the parts list, comes this, uh, the, the actual tube, um, and then you've got um, the actual vessel to hold your milk. So it comes with one of these bottles, you can buy more, buy more of these bottles. Are you hungry? I think some of you might actually be hungry, talking about breastfeeding. Um, then you've got this funny little valve thing, that just slots very, very easily in there. Then that screws on the top of the bottle, Don't hire me to demonstrate your products. There you go. And then you put the funnel on the top. And I believe you can get lots of different sizes of funnels. This particular one is 24 millimeters. I mean, it fit me as far as I know. Um, and then you stick this tube in there, like so. Get your main unit. Um, stick the other end of that tube in there and then you plug your unit in and you've got your buttons really really simple to use i'm coming i'm coming i might have to pause pause and resume um but just quickly um there are your buttons so you press the on button um it will start its stimulation phase at the beginning so it's kind of like a, a very quick gentle pumping and that's to stimulate your letdown um and you can make that stronger by pressing the plus or weaker with the minor and then it will automatically um, go into actual pumping mode which is a more slow rhythmic sound so I'll demonstrate that to you in a second but for now somebody's very hungry hold that thought 
So while the baby's being fed, I'll show you a quick demo of the Medela swing pump, as promised. So here is the bottle um, and the funnel all assembled. As you can see, that little valve on the inside there as well. This has been sterilized, this bottle, so um, it's ready to use. And then here's the tube, stick the tube in there. Then the funnel would go over your nipple, making sure that the nipple is safely in that hole. And then you grab the actual main unit, press the on button. You can see that lights come on and you might be able to hear that is doing a very quick shallow pump, which is actually the stimulation. Um, mode which you have to begin with because that is what encourages the letdown of the milk if you want to increase um increase the strength of that just press this button like so and then you can reduce it as well and then if you've had enough of stimulation if you feel like yep the milk is flowing then you just hit this button here and you can hear that is a much slower, more rhythmic pump. And that's what actually draws the milk down into that funnel and into the bottle. And then the bottle comes with a little yellow cap. You just cap it off, put it in the fridge or the freezer and you are done. Welcome back, uh, sorry about that. This is the culprit making all the noise, but hopefully he'll be all right now because he's been fed. Um, so to recap on the Medela swing pump, um, a few questions that you may well have about this is, um, for example, is it portable? The answer to that is yes, it's pretty light. I've taken it um, to Ibiza, to Wales, um, to Oxfordshire. Uh, I took it on a job the other day to a studio. Um, so yes, it's light, um, even with all your bottles and your bits and bobs, um, it's, you know, you can carry it about. It's also got a battery compartment, so if you don't have anywhere to plug it in, um, then it is very portable with those batteries. Um, is it quiet? Uh, obviously this is an important question if you're going to be pumping at work um, or somewhere the way you need to be discreet. Um, I mean, it's not silent, but I, w I would wonder, is there any pump out there that is? Um, and you'll see in my, um, you'll see in my demonstration video uh, just how noisy it is. It's not crazy loud, but it's not silent. Let's leave it at that. Um, and is it quick? Because after all, you know, the whole point of pumping is because you're a busy person, um, you've got places to be, people to see. Uh, and I would say, I mean, I guess it depends on your anatomy uh, and how full you are. Uh, but I would say on the whole, it is quite slow because for me, to fill that whole bottle, for example, um, on a good day, if I was really full and, like, and desperate to pump, and hadn't fed Oren for a while, uh, I could probably fill that 150 mils or, or more in about 15 minutes on a good day. On a bad day, more like half an hour, so it can be a bit of a drag sitting there pumping. Um, but that's about it. Overall, I like it. Uh, and my verdict, hmm, teeters somewhere between borrow or buy. I would say if you can borrow, borrow. If not, it's not going to break the bank, buy. But you can get second hand, so do look out for those bargains. Bye for now.